Hi, it's Rudy. Welcome back to Battletech Blood Eagle Company, my mech warriors. We are heading to, I forgot to check the planet, the Tournament of Champions. Now, I don't know what this means. It's only a two skull mission. So maybe I'll go in with some lighter mechs just to make it a fair fight. Or maybe I won't. <laughs> But uh, I'm very excited to see what it is. Apparently we're going to get into an arena with the best mech warriors in the galaxy. So, obviously, I assumed we're going to Clough Stand. That's where it is. I assumed, since they wanted all the best mech warriors, that we had to be there. And on our way we go. Job's done, Commander. Thank you, Yang. Looks like Archangel won't be back in time, but that's okay. As far as our pilots go, he's not the most amazing. He's he's pretty good. Has a tendency to get shot in the face, but, uh, you know. Now, we've refit two mechs. Uh, we didn't really do too much to the Phoenix Hawk. Just put on some better weaponry. But we refit the uh, Annihilator be a little less all uh, bombardment. And here we are in this flashpoint. So a short engagement, no consecutive deployments, cash prize is a million dollars, which is what brought me. Unknown op for, and no restriction on tonnage, which means that I'm going to go in heavy, because they're not going to force me not to. Your deeds on the field of battle have earned an, you an invitation to my Tournament of Champions. Join us and take your place in the arena against the Periphery's fi fiercest warriors. Tournament of Champions. High Orbit. Clough Stand. Professor Mencius Horvat. Ah, Commander Mother Lover. Very good. I was hoping you'd accept my invitation. I am Professor Mencius Horvat, and you are to be congratulated. Only the most celebrated of mercenary companies are allowed to participate in my Tournament of Champions. Yeah, thanks. Remind me what we stand to gain by winning this thing? Never mind that. I want to know what he's wearing. That is a seriously bold look, Professor. I don't even know what I'm seeing here. What you are seeing, Mr. Vetranen, is the hide of a Black Reaper is a large felinoid species native to Yants 1. It's similar to a Terran Puma with the exception of its spiked prehensile tail. Increased size and thick resilient hide. Interesting. A savage beast, the apex predator of Yants 1 and a killer of men. I put an end to this one myself. Tracked it for days, stalked it, and lanced it through the heart with a single thrust. The hide is thick as rubber, yet soft as a lover's caress. The fur is luxuriant as it is fragrant. Indeed, this coat is absolutely pregnant with the beast's indelible musk. <laughs> I'm suddenly overjoyed that we aren't speaking to you in person. Now let's get back to this prize purse. How big is it? One million sea bills. Winner takes all. Of course, that means that there are no intermediary payouts. Eliminated competitors will walk away with nothing, assuming they walk away at all. Arena combat is rich with peril. It can easily swallow the unwary. Peril doesn't scare me. We can handle whatever you throw at us. So you say. For now. We'll see if you sing a different tune when you're scraping a prized mech warrior out of a ruined cockpit. Red Death and the Arena Floor are constant companions. But, if you speak truly, if you are a hunter of men, you will find much love in my tournament. For those bold enough to follow our rarefied path, risk is what life... What risk is what gives life its flavor, its succulence. Do you salivate at the thought of victory, Commander? Does the prospect of taking all comers and breaking them make your heart hammer in your chest? Damn right it does. I've got the best company in the Rimworld periphery, and I aim to prove it. And I will give you that chance. 
What are the rules of this tourney of yours? Are there drop weight restrictions, tonnage requirements? The Tournament of Champions has no need for such guidelines. In fact, your battle mechs won't be required at all. Oh. To ensure a level playing field, I insist that all competitors pilot hardware drawn from my own stable. Stock mechs bereft of embellishment or modification. And if we prefer to use our own mechs? Then you'll be disappointed. I'm afraid that rule is unavoidable. Should you attempt to deploy your own battle mechs while the tournament is in session, your lives will be forfeit. My enforcer, the man-monster Calamar Giganti, will tell you apart. Man-monster. Wow. Anyone else just get a little shiver right now? Because I did. So long as you honor my master's rules, you'll have nothing to fear from me. But if you step out of line, I'll wrap you in my terrible grasp and squeeze the life from your chest. I won't stop until I've ground your bones to mulch, for that is the crushing power of Calamar Gigante. Did you name yourself? Because you could have done better. He isn't exaggerating, Commander. I once saw Giganti strangle a man and his horse at the same time. Enough talk. You know the stakes. And you understand the risks. Now it is time to make a decision. Accept my contract, and I will test your mech warriors in a crucible of blood and thunder. Join us if you dare. The Tournament of Champion awaits. Professor Horvat's image disappears as the comm connection is cut. Well, that was uh, something. Was it just me, or did anyone else get the impression that the professor had a romantic interest in his coat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, he certainly did. I love his caress and, like, rubber. He's obviously into some kinky shit. It wasn't just you. But if this contest is legit, we stand to win a lot of money. And because of Horvat's insisting on supplying the hardware, we won't even have to put our own mechs on the line. In light of what we stand to gain, who cares if our host is a little eccentric? Nobody, I guess. I'll get our mech warriors ready. Let's go win ourselves a tournament. Stock mechs. Well, this will be interesting anyway. I'm obviously going to take my best. Mystery box. Interesting. Yang calls you to the mech lab, where you find him standing in the shadow of an enormous ferro-aluminum crate. I don't think that the bounty hunter realized what he was giving us, boss. What we've got is one-third of a mothballed assault mech, mostly the guts, so it doesn't look like much to the untrained eye, but what I can tell you is that this mech is strange. Never seen anything like it. Pharaoh raises her hand. And I think I have a lead on the Dobrev. An old colleague of mine contacted me about a group of patients at the hospital she administrates. They were suffering what, from what appeared to be a misjump-induced injuries. I think it's worth investigating. Summary rubs her temples. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I've got one too. A jump ship operator I used to hang with has been running his mouth about a big job he did for Notker Bowman. Want me to follow up? Interesting. You know what? Bowman's probably on the trail, but if Fire's got a lead that doesn't involve him. Let's try that. You nodded Farah. Your lead sounds promising. Follow up on it. For the time being, this is your top priority. Later, Farah calls you into engineering. You find her standing in front of a terminal, a terminal, a huge smile on her face. Face. I did what you asked, you know. Dug for information and I found it. The patients, all of whom had substantial criminal history, shared a common point of origin. Aplan. I've already told Sumeri. And she's marked it on her star map. You nod. Good work, Farah. Our hunt for the Dobrev is back on, thanks to you. A new flashpoint. An Aplan. Well, first we'll have to do this Tournament of Champions. But how far is Aplan? We'll obviously look at this next time. That's not it.
or oh, Appian, not Aplan. Okay, doesn't look like it expired. Expires. Yeah, it doesn't say that it does. Fair enough. Good to know. Let's get back in there and do it. Always the good job. to see you in Ops, Commander. Alright, welcome to the tournament, Commander. Here you will prove your mettle against the periphery's fiercest champions. Today, your mech warriors will demonstrate their worth using only the simplest of tools. The UMR60 Urban Mech. Like a huntsman's spear, it's an instrument with a single purpose. Wield it skillfully and ascend into triumph. An Urby is basically a walking dustbin with a mounted AC-10. That auto cannon packs a hell of a punch, but it's only got eight shots, so keep an eye on those ammo counters, Rudy. Four Urbies, you say. Yeah. Let's take our best. I hope they all come back to me. Medusa's a slightly better shot than Decker, which will come in handy when in this Irby for sure. Don't really need multi target. Let's do it. This should be interesting. I wonder how many round robins there will be. Single shot urban max. Light max. This should be interesting. And only round one. Hmm. And eight shots each. Now, luckily, the piloting is up pretty high, so if we have to get in close and ram them, we will. But this should be interesting. I've also got a lead on that Dobrev. Alright, game, let's do this. Give me some motion. Let's hit the ground. We may be able to headshot some pilots too, which will definitely give us an advantage. Because we can't rely on just like some powerful assault mechs, this is all going to be about morale and positioning. I have to be careful of my facing and make sure I use cover. Alright, let's do it. Command interface initiated. Nice. Yeah, urban environment, too. Seems fitting for the urban mech. Mech warriors, you stand alone in the carcass of an abandoned city. This sepulcher of commerce is now reborn as a hunting ground and a field of battle. All that command my... All at the command of my master, Professor Mencius Horvat. You honor me, Gigante. I am pleased. To our guests, I bid you welcome. Ready yourselves to test your might in my Tournament of Champions! Commander Mother Lover, today your lance will face off against four of the deadliest killers in the Rimworld periphery has to offer. Two of these terrors stand before you, now. The rest lurk in the shadows like predators on the hunt, waiting for an exposed flank or a bared throat. If you drop your guard, they will eat you alive. They won't get the chance, Professor Horvat. I will butcher these amateurs before your lurking predators even show their faces. I am the Terror of Franck, the Scourge of Sacramonte. I am Limpet Saito. You know, Limpet's just like a... <laughs> like a crustacean. Like a... not a crustacean. It's like a uh, muscle that just hangs on the edge of things. And I'm his brother, Jake! <laughs> God, this is like something out of a Brock Armstrong flick. I know, it's great. I'm glad you're having fun, Darius. And so, 
The table is set. At one end, Commander Mother Lover's battle-hardened mercenaries. At the other, a throng of deadly lone wolves, each bound to eat the other by their shared lust for victory. Let the air be filled with the bark of auto cannon fire. Let the ground thunder with your approach. Let the tournament begin! It's like, time to get paid. Targets are... here. And there's just two randos somewhere, somewhere. These are light mechs. Oh, but they can jump, eh? That's cool. But not very far. Let's get moving. Confirmed. Don't need to tell me twice. Take that, cars. Did that say that the enemy was Bowman Group? Interesting. Looks like we got some cover up here. Copy that. I'm gonna run these two got on it. the flank. Nope. Oh. Got it! Waiting on you, Commander. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Copy that. Look at that. Someone wants to get dead. All right, there's our target there. Now, if I sprint to here, can I actually jump? On the move. Your attention, please. We have a latecomer en route to join our tournament. Consider her a wild card, if you will. When her drop pod hits the ground, I expect that she'll be she'll attempt to butcher the lot of you. I advise you to deny her the opportunity. Kill her before she kills you. Yeah, we know how the game works, Horvat. Ready for orders. Can't jump. I could jump over, but not up. Bit of a waste of a move. Copy that. Let's regroup. Nice try, dum dum. They do have the bowman. Group. What can I do for you? Symbol on them. Uh huh. All right, glitch. Let's give him a good showing. Hang on, oh, that's limpet. How much evasion is he running? Just one. In that case, oh, I gotta finish what I'm doing here with glitch. on the center torso. Come on, Jake. What do you got? Alright. Strip and evasion. Bunch of misses. Move up on the corner here. Destroy a couple city buses, as you do. Engaging target. And totally whiff. No damage detected. Well, that I'm surprised by. Receiving you. Let's not put him right into Before range yet. Locked on target. Like that was another miss. Heads up, Commander. That drop pod must belong to the wild card the contestant that Horvat warned us about. 
Very perceptive, Miss Maya. I caught this young lady snooping around the tournament grounds. She claims I'm responsible for the death of her father. You are responsible, you son of a bitch, and by my hand he will be avenged. I admire your grit, Miss Jones, but if you want a shot at me, you'll need to fight your way out of the arena first. Kill or be killed. Let the games continue. Alright, we've all fired one, which means we've got seven shots left. Boom! Take that, Saito. Yeah, bring it, Jake. Ow. Armor blow through. I see that. Internal damage. Don't know where Jackhammer is. Waiting for orders. You betcha. Everybody's so small, we're gonna get a little closer on the in on the action. Tell me what to shoot. Okay. Yeah, All he's got is an S laser, as far as I know. Who were they shooting at? Good hit. Did not get the kill, though. Because I was saving it for Medusa. Target confirmed. Oh, now we're just spreading the damage around. Give him everything you've got. Standing by. Where's she hit? Alright, that's not terrible. Engaging target. Are you kidding me? This guy's just so good at damage. Seems to me like his mech can jump a lot better than ours. She's over there fighting with somebody else. Six rounds left. Got it. Reaching shot. Man, this guy is taking tons of damage. Somebody went down. Yep. Got it. Are you kidding me? Love destroying those cars. Alright, I had enough of oh shit. Let the people of Franck sleep easy. The brothers Saito are dead. Warriors, show them what you've got. All right, great. We're a little bit light on ammo for the moment. Going full speed. Let's see if we can't close the range with our new targets. Somebody on sensor range there. Ah, three of them, yep. Yeah. Uh, wasn't a destroy then. It sounds like the damage we got. Uh, somebody blew something off somebody else. Looks like it might also be two on one. I hear ya.
<laughs> I love these urban environments just for smashing the cars. You should have a free mode and you can just run around stomping cars. Who they want to play? Oh no, looks like they're wrecking whoever that is. Yes, Commander. You're missing all the fun. That's some cover there. Going full throttle. Mother Love out of flank on the far side. The two over here that are fighting are probably reasonably damaged. Good to go. Sprint up almost in range. My master's would-be assassin has fallen, but she still lives. Her ejection pod has saved her, but for how long? Who cares? That's a shame, I was hoping we would get to meet her. Okay, let's get Rudy on the sweep. Behold, Commander Mother Lover, the stalking predators reveal themselves. You got that right, Professor. I'm Basilisk Jackson, and I'm the meanest mech jock on this or any other planet. I'm gonna put these fools in the ground. Wow, don't know about you, but I'm quaking in my boots. Let's light them up. Missed, whispers. Good to go. Let's get up high here. Let's go for a precision strike. Let's go for the head. Time to die. Nope. Still decent hit though. Ready for orders. Can jump into cover, I like that. Roger. These Irbies aren't so bad, man. Hey, finish that guy. Locked on. This is the head again. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, let's make sure we protect our face in here. I could have gone in close for the punch. But instead, I'm just going to precision strike him. Time to die. Take that, Whispers. Target eliminated. Sorry, what's that? No, I can't hear you. Speak up. No, I don't, I don't know what you're saying. It's, it's fine. Oof. Damage all around. At least these are not my mechs. <laughs> it's a kind of a weird jump. Let's just get moving. Is it still in cover? Oh, he does have a shot. Good. On my way. Roger. Missed. Hit the building. 
Waiting for orders. We only got four shots left. She's actually probably fine if she stays here. Got it. Yeah, good hit. It's go time. Orders. Okay, but you just watch your facing. Don't need him to blow anything it. out. Right arm destroyed. Reporting critical hit. Which kills his AC ten, I believe. Engaging jump jets. Targeting rear armor. Come on, that's the second one you missed. No damage detected. We can't let Basilisk Jackson show us up. Good to go. It's a shame I can't target the building. I wonder if the fall would hurt him at all. Engaging target. Taking a lot of damage, but we're just spreading it around. Let's move out of view here. Hit him hard. Oh, Ready he's for orders. Only got the S laser. That's right. And I can't DFA from here. So I can't quite reach him. Doesn't give me a shot. Affirmative. Firing all weapons. Two good hits. Engaging jump jets. All right, mother lover. Let's end this jackwad. Targeting Basilisk jackwad. Standing by. Move into position. Right torso, pilot injured. Solid connection on that one. Oh, he's not even gonna get a shot Commander? off, eh? Like to say I feel sorry for you. Firing on target. Wow. Cool. Receiving you. If you please, Behemoth. Heading out. Most spectacular way possible. And the S laser. This guy's tough. No S laser. I think that's all he had, right? Just jump for fun. Engaging jump jets. All weapons committed. Boom! Behold, Professor. Basilisk Jackson and his silent partner are down. Their battle mechs shattered, their bodies torn to rags. It's glorious, Gigante. A display fit for a king. Yeah. Well done, Commander Mother Lover. Well done indeed. You have taken this round and vanquished your foes. I haven't tapped out yet, Horvat. You'll never hear me yield. You don't need to yield, you've lost. And you'll be spending the remainder of this tournament in a holding cell. Thank you, Gigante. To this round's victors, I invite you to bask in your triumph, but prepare yourselves. Tomorrow you face the ultimate challenge. Tomorrow your true test begins. Mission successful.
Those Irvies aren't too bad when you're fighting just Irvies. Please don't stick me in an Irby against an Assault mech. That'll be a short fight. Not a bad first round. No injuries. Lots of kills. I'm a bit disappointed we didn't get to Jackhammer right away. No money. Those aren't our mechs, so I don't care that they're damaged. We got some urban mech pieces. I suppose it's better than nothing. Gonna be a wrap up? Or what? In any case, when we come back, more Tournament of Champions. I have a feeling we're going to go up against that gigantic character. Oh, I have noble heart. So far so good, boss. I think that we could win this tournament. So far so good, Yang? This whole tournament is positively mental. Horvat and his cronies are throwing up more red flags than Kutrian military parade. I mean, I'm preaching to the choir here, right? You all get how ridiculous this is. No arguments here, Doc. Horvat's a lunatic, and our fellow competitors are much better. Speak of the devil, we're getting a secure call from an inside Horvat's castle. It's Jackhammer. You remember the, I'm a hero to avenge my father lady? The one that Gigante threw in a cell after the match? I'm surprised they let her have access to a comp system. Put her on the view screen, let's see what she has to say. Commander Mother Lover, I wasn't sure that you'd pick up. I need to keep this brief. If Horvat catches me talking over this subdermal mic, he'll probably put a spear through my chest. But I'm taking the risk because we need to talk. If this is about your father... My father is alive and well on Leamington. That whole vengeance shtick is just a cover story. The truth is, I'm an undercover operative with the MIIO, the Ministry of Information, Intelligence, and Operations and I'm here to investigate Horvat's crimes against the Davian commercial interests. He's a pirate, in case you hadn't figured that out. He also wants to marry his fur coat. You got any reason why we should care? The Tournament of Champions is a sham. The whole circus is a sick joke that Horvat uses to sniff out highly skilled, morally flexible mech warriors. He reviews strength and wants to surround himself with it, but his standards are impossibly high. The second round of the tournament is a trap. If you're good enough to push through and win anyway, the professor will shower you in blood money to buy your friendship. If he finds you wanting, he'll kill you for sport. Will he use a spear? He'll use whatever, the, whatever he damn well pleases. He's a pirate. He doesn't play by anyone's rules, especially not his own. The professor has been running this contest for years, and in all that time, the only actual winner has been a Calamara Gigante. Everyone else... We're talking hundreds of contestants here. Has mysteriously disappeared. And if you let your mech warriors compete again, he'll make them disappear too. Okay, so I'm getting that our options aren't great. They really, really aren't. But fortunately for you, I'm here, and I've been authorized to offer you an alternative. House Davian has granted me authority to draft a kill order for Professor Mencius Horvat. I'd like your company to carry out the contract. He's a pirate, eh? I don't know, I kind of prefer the idea of fighting our way onto Horvat's payroll. You don't want to get in bed with Horvat. Even if you manage to beat him, it's a bad deal. Working with pirates is a surefire way to get on the bad side of every great house in the inner sphere. Seriously, you'll wind up on everybody's shit list if you go through with this. Everybody but the pirates, that is. And from what you're telling us, you're going through with it will earn us a whole lot of money. As mercenaries, that's kind of relevant to our interests. And we're pirates, lady. I told you, it's a pirate's life for me. Yo ho ho. Pass the grog and the cabin boy or whatever pirates do. Give me all your downloadable <laughs> intellectual properties. You don't get paid unless you win, and you won't win. If you work for me, on the other hand, you'll probably will win because I've seen you fight and you're good. Accept my offer and you'll take home a quarter million sea bills. And the last time I checked, that's a hell of a lot better than slinking off with a goose egg and a pair of dead mech warriors. 
Um, no. We're going to go with Horvat. He's a pirate. Even if he's a crazy bastard, it'll be fun. I've made you a fair offer, Commander. For the good of every Davian merchant in the Rimworld periphery, you need to take Mencius Horvat down. I don't know where we're going to get an opp another opportunity like this. Uh, no, we're going to attempt to win over Horvat by beating him at his own game. I appreciate the offer, but House Davian doesn't have much on, have us on retainer. We're mercenaries and we go where the money is. You're making a mistake. It's our mistake to make. Now, I suggest that you clear the line, Agent Jones. You wouldn't want to risk Horvat catching you on that mic. No, I wouldn't. You're playing a dangerous game, Commander. I hope it doesn't wind up biting you. Can we call Horvat and tell him that there's an agent on his ship? Okay. When we return, round two of the Tournament of Champions. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time. Tell you no, I don't fuck around. I'm playing every day. Tell you no, I don't fuck around. Ask your mom, she'll tell you the same.